Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Last time we made our way to the mansion on Kingsway Road, or street, whatever, um, in order to find out what the hell is going on with this uh, snuff film with all these Amici creations, or we assume was Amici creations. Uh, we found out that it was the actual house in the snuff film, and it was all um, basically a scheme by the Amici a AIDS and Mitzi leader um, to, you know, bring down the Camarilla, basically outing themselves. Um, and we fought this guy. He was literally just called the Zemitzi. Um And we didn't kill him. He, I think he ran away. He, he just melted into the ground and he, he left. We opened the double doors from the basement and basically ran through a fucking gauntlet in a sewer level. Uh, of Zemitia abominations and that was literally the whole episode it was fucking long and now we are somewhere where we don't know where we are somewhere with a dock when there's literally nothing out there it's a wall you literally have to dive under oh nice What the fuck is this place? CD ROM. VIP room. Okay. Where the fuck are we? The lucky star. Isn't that oh? It's a lucky star I saw my Madonna. Sinbin. No. Oh, I have a good idea where we are. I believe we have found the Nosferatu hideout. Although you wouldn't know with all these fucking skeletons. Oh my god, this place is a goddamn fucking maze. Oh! Hi! <laughs> oh, you did not just try and run a trace on me. All right. Take that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hope you backed on that server tonight. Boss is going to be real pissed when his mom starts getting love letters from porn sites. <sighs> uh, hello? What? Oh, yeah. Hold on a sec. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? What are you using for security down there at Trash 80? <laughs> Guys, it's called encryption. This is too easy. I'd let you off the hook, but stupidity always brings out the asshole in me. <laughs> um, uh, hey there. Uh, all right, yeah. Just one minute. No, 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 nothing to worry about. Just a harmless email. Not a self-replicating embedded virus or anything. <laughs> wow, you really opened it. I can't believe you just opened it. What kind of a freaking idiot just opens it? Maybe I'll just come back later. Well, oh well, yeah, sorry. The name's Mitnick. I'm in charge of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? The Croix boy. Surprised you actually made it down here. <laughs> Uh, surprise? What do you mean? I've been following your progress on the cameras. Handled yourself pretty well with all of the creepy crawlers and the sewers. Like a bad sequel to Chad up there. <laughs> uh, you're a funny guy. I just need to know where Gary is. 
Yeah, he knows why you're here. LaCroix must be pissed. But I hope you're not here looking for some payback. LaCroix knows better than to mess with Gary, sheriff or no sheriff. I'm just here to talk. Where can I find him? His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you. <laughs> uh, I've got a few more questions. Go ahead. Uh, tell me about this place. What, the Warrens? Not much to tell. Just a bunch of us living down here, trying to stay off the radar. It ain't pretty, but it's home. Gary's the big man on campus. He's running the show. Place looks pretty empty. There's more of us than you'd think. They're around. But you won't see too many of the brood down here. But they'll be watching you. <laughs> I'll try not to pick my nose. Try real hard. Dude, just bring that chair over here and sit down. How are you typing with nails that long? What kind of keyboard is that? I've never seen circular buttons before. Interesting. Trust me. No, I will not trust you. You have to earn my trust, bro. What's up? Bitch! I can't believe she got the cover of Glamorella this month. Uh, what are you talking about? I mean, just look at her. Too fat, big teeth in her complexion. Does she wash her face with a cheese grater? Uh, I didn't know that person at that time of the month. <clears throat> Slow down, cowgirl. What exactly are we talking about here? I mean, like anyone ever knew who Tawny Sessions was before I left the scene. She'd still be a fluff girl at vivisection, making ten bucks a stiffy if I was still around. Ugh. The hell is Tawny Sessions? Tawny Sessions is a wannabe face girl with no talent whatsoever and scabby little knees. Do you know she got model of the year? Before I got here, she would have had a hard time making the catalog for Jacques Penet. That's a good one. Uh, who are you, by the way? Oh, right. You probably don't recognize me with this whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing I've got going on here. My name is Imalia. How come you hate Tawny Sessions so much? Before this neat little makeover, I used to be a model. I was all over the place. TV, magazines, billboards. I mean, I was hot. Super hot. And I knew it. Which is why Gary decided to invite me into his freaky little family. So you hate Tawny because she's the next best thing and you're, well... Spare me your head shrink bullshit. You've got no idea what I'm going through here. I mean, I can't sit here and let the world think she's better than me. I've got to do something. Have you tried exfoliating? Just off her and get it over with. I don't want to kill her. That's too quick and painless. I want to ruin her name in the business for good. I want to dig up something on her that smells so bad even the tabloids will think twice about printing it. Uh, sounds cool. What's stopping you? Gary says that everyone has to lay low until this thing with the prince cools down. Until then, I'm stuck here watching the whole world kiss Tawny's big, fat ass. Maybe I can help you out. What would I need to do? I have some wireless cameras that I need you to set up in her apartment. One in her bedroom, one in her bathroom, and one in her kitchen. I'm sure you'll see good places to hide them once you're there. What else? Once the cameras are in place, you'll need to hook them up to the network. Log into our computer using the password Cleopatra. From there, you'll be able to activate the cameras. What do you think you're going to see? Who cares? Sex, drugs, bad hygiene. Everyone gets a little dirty when the doors close. Tawny's no different and probably worse than most. What's in it for me? Look, I'll definitely make it worth your while if you do it right. But listen, I don't want her dead. I want her to suffer. Get in and get out without her knowing about it. Understand? Fine, I'll do it. You will? Great. Here are the cameras. She lives in Hollywood, an apartment building right across from the Lucky Star Motel. I had someone here dig up a spare key to her apartment for me. Take that, too. Cool. Can I ask you a few more questions? Sure. Whatever. Uh, tell me how you came to be here. 
Nosferatu have a sixth sense of humor. Sometimes they feel that their victims, namely moi in this particular case, have an overabundance of vanity and need to be taught an important life lesson. I see. So what happened? Well, I had just won Guy Magazine's The Most Ridiculously Hot Chick in the Known Universe Award. And when I came home after the ceremony, lo and behold, Gary was sitting there on my couch with a martini in his hand. You fill in the blanks. So, have you learned your life lesson? Yeah, the lesson is, life is a cold-hearted bitch, so now I get to be one, too. You get that? You need to write it down? Loud and clear. Sure, whatever. I'm looking for Gary. You know where it is? Where he is? His room is just down the hall. You might be able to find him in there. All right. Thanks. Thank you kindly. Goljum. The feck gain. What? Is, what? Holding this rough-hewn amber stone gives you a sense of peace and even a glimmer of hope for salvation. You're able to hold the effect of most passive disciplines longer as long as you possess Galgen. The error durations are increased by 25%. Wow. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Right, I need nine research for that. Uh, yeah. I don't have nearly enough. I'm guessing this is the way? Smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew only, boss. Where are you? Maybe I'm in your head. Uh oh. You might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. I just need to talk to you. We are talking, but you aren't listening, boss. Who are you? You're used to getting what you want, aren't you, handsome? People just love your charisma, your face. They eat your words up like the rats eat the cheese in the trap. Oh, boss. Where do you think you are? Who are you? Maybe I'm a ghost. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't tell me you just stumbled down here. What I need to know is I mean, why you're here. It's obvious it's Gary. Uh, let's talk face to face. I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like this? Stop it. <laughs> What's the matter, boss? You scared? That's good. Shows you've been paying attention. What do you want? <laughs> I want to stick your lovely face in a piranha tank. I want to apply an acid glaze to your sculptured body. I want to throw your pocket mirror under a thresher and watch you fetch it. But I'm no butcher, boss. Are you? I'm here about the Ankaran sarcophagus. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the prince. Why did you ask then? Because I like the sound of my own voice. It's not every day we get visitors, boss. I needed to hear it from you. You're a long way from home, and neither the prince nor Isaac nor Nines have any domain down here. Tread carefully.
just tell me about the sarcophagus so I can get out of here. You should have got here sooner. That lot's been sold. Who bought it? I like to discuss business face to face. I mean, I asked like a bunch of times. Are Show you yourself. sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. The suspense is killing me. Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> okay, how horrific is he going to be? Actually, I, I remember what he looks like. He doesn't look bad at all. Yeah? Behind you, boss. Boo! You are the most offensive and obscene thing I've ever seen. He doesn't look that bad. Oh, God, Toreador. You vainglorious narcissistic poser. How I loathe that determination of your kind to belie your true nature with Paris fashions and pomp. You are a dead thing, a creature of the shadows. Start acting like one. Jealous? Do you miss the faith? <laughs> no, I don't want to. Do I want to antagonize him? No. We'll be civil. Who are you? What? You don't recognize me from the pictures? Gorgeous Gary Golden? Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. Little before your time, eh, boss? Well, those days are long past. Nowadays, it's just Gary. Delighted. Now, where's the sarcophagus? Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than May West. Why might I ask, should I give you that information? Because I got rid of that Samizi for you. Oh, my hero. Had it not been for that damn Shamisi, you'd still be searching under rocks for us. It was hardly a favor, but I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Kuei Jin? What's a Kuei Jin? The Kuei Jin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. Tell me more. Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart. <laughs> Damn it, what is this? Every time we need something, someone wants a favor. Uh, I see, go on. You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown, I'll give you what you need. Deal. Tell me what I need to do. The Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss-poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That I saw is where you'll find the leader of the L.A. Kuei Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao. Ask her where my boy is and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. Aren't the kindred at war with the Kuei Jin? Not that I know of. It's like the eye of the hurricane right now. Don't make those winds blow, boss. Got anything I can use to protect myself? Let's see what I got. For one of your kind, it ain't gonna be cheap. That thing behind that pretty face of yours is called a brain. If you want to survive in Chinatown, I suggest you use it. Or if all else fails, you could just use your pocket mirror to blind them. <laughs> Why don't you go yourself? Forget it, boss. It's Chinatown. Of course. All right, I'll go, but you better keep your end of the deal. Of course. What kind of a monster do you take me for? 
<laughs> there is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in Chinatown. I'll call you with the info once Barabbas is safe. Until then, you'll never know where I am. As good as done. Yeah, not a weird guy at all. Go left, okay. I think that's also where the tape was, like on the opposite side. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff to take care of. Um, first off, since we're here, let's talk to Velvet. Yeah, Nosferatu were pretty interesting, eh? Okay, you totally look like a vampire. I think you even got teeth sticking out. Oh, Vivi, it's Mimi. Look who's back. Velvet. Please, call me Vivi. I called you Vivi, you told me to call you Velvet. I called you Velvet, you told me to call you Vivi. About Hatter. Mm-hmm. Here's Hatter's screenplay. Oh, I suppose I should just tear it up. But I just... I can't. I can't rip up the product of that man's soul. Here. Would you tear it up for me? Sure. Thanks. Found the name of his source. Are they? I mean... Did you? It's taken care of. It must have been difficult. But take some comfort in knowing if you hadn't, someone else would have had to. I do appreciate your help. A lot. Mm hmm How much do you appreciate it? Can't you tell? I simply adore you. You're so sweet to me. The way you protect me. What would I have done had you never come in here? Oh. Why can't they all be like you? The world could be so, so beautiful. Here, take this. A reminder of the beautiful girl whose heart you stole. Vivi's autographed photo. My pleasure, thanks. Do I want to look at it? Is this it? I may be delivering a memento of moi to your Haven computer, but this should tide you over for now. Ooh. I don't see a signature anywhere. Okay. So, that's done. Is there anything else, actually? Look who's back. Vivi? Couldn't stay away, could you? Uh... Yeah. Okay, so there's nothing else. Let's... Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff to do. We still got plenty of time. Plenty of time. So there was... The, um... Okay, so the apartment across the Tawny whatever. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Uh, there's that computer in here that talks about the celebrities. What the fuck? Yeah, this one. Uh, so S to Z. Sessions. 
Tani. Let's see what it says. Uber model Tawny Sessions has an apartment right here in Hollywood and can often be found window shopping in Beverly Hills. Okay, I wonder if we can find anything on Amalia. Blingo. Captain Bananas. Uh, G2M. Gary Golden. Ooh! Gary. And Amalia there. Gorgeous Gary Golden was the star of such 30s classics as Tap Hotel and Singing Honeymooners. He later became a popular dramatic character actor in films such as Skies of Nevada. Shortly after his last film in 1960, Golden disappeared and was illegally declared dead in 1965. Okay, and Amalia? Model famous for her racy covers and high lifestyle. Amalia claimed residence in Hollywood for several years. Tragically, her career was cut short in its prime. Her car was found wrecked at the base of the Hollywood Hills. Her remains burned beyond recognition. Hmm. John Revolta. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Okay, so there, yeah, Tawny Sessions is over here. Um, there is the Cafe Quest, the food critic, and we need to talk to Isaac as well. So let's save. one apartment so let's see because we don't know if she's <coughs> if she's actually home sounds like she's here oh hello and there's a guy Again, I don't know how he didn't see me, but... The one in the kitchen. But she was in the kitchen. Well, not anymore. Stay there. Okay. Camera. Cleo. Atra. Uh, cam check. Nicely done. I can't wait to see Dirty Little Tawny in action. We're monitoring you from here. Get up. Come on, uh, get out quietly and come back. Okay. Ah! Limperman called the game's pornography and was offended by crude shots taken at him by one recent game. Among the titles the group is trying to get banned from stores are Mangle Garden, Rape and Pillage, and Abe Lincoln Teaches Killing. Protesters say that exceeds <laughs> media attention... Abe Lincoln Teaches Killing, that's funny. ...tycoon promotes parental awareness of their adult content and lessens children's interest in the... Bro, who needs obfuscate when you have fucking five sneaking where no one can see you? Okay, uh, so we'll get to that later. Where is this critic? Is that him? More flatbread and olive oil. And take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes and then bring it out with a ziti. Okay? I just wanted to... <laughs> wanted to know what? Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important opening and I, emphasize I, am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? 
Uh, just exactly who are you to feel you have so much power? Me, Tommy Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, radio personality for the KTLK, Chower Hour. Maybe if I reviewed more pancake huts, you'd know me. Just the man I wanted to talk to. I'm not sure exactly what you mean. Isn't it in your, isn't it in your best interest to pan this place? You've got a reputation to keep. How so? Uh, you're becoming the joke of the food world. You'll give anything for a good review. You know, now that you mention it, the gnocchi was a bit cold, and the ravioli might have been store-bought. Also, the decorum's a bit lacking, isn't it? This place is just an overpriced cafeteria! No stars! Yes. I'm going to write a review that will destroy this restaurant. Good, good. I'll be leaving now that my work is done. Good night. I should have more of a emperor. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, since we're right here, let's just talk to Isaac about Gary. Seriously, bro. Evening. Kingsway, there was a Samitsi. Notice I've used past tense. An impressive achievement, young Toreador. Someone of your character doesn't come in here every night. I'd like to give you something. It's not much. Just my way of letting you know that the barony of Hollywood appreciates your service. I'm glad to see the blood of my clan has found its way into the right people. Hopefully you won't spill it foolishly in some pointless display of fealty for that damn LaCroix. Come by in a little while. I should have something for you then. Oh, he's Toreador as well, eh? Thanks, Isaac. I appreciate it. Or I'll stop by later. Actually, we haven't asked him any questions. Certainly. Anything else I can do in this city? There is something, but it involves a gargoyle. Hmm, I can see that's got your attention. Yeah, tell me about this gargoyle. It's taken up residence in my beloved Asian theater. It is closed now, but that's beside the point. I sent some people to evict it, and it sent them back with a few less limbs. I can't have that monster attacking kindred in my city. Uh, I'm interested, but how exactly does one deal with a gargoyle? It's a walking block of stone with a taste for blood. I'd suggest whatever method doesn't result in you being eviscerated. In truth, I'd rather have it as an ally, but I doubt it's going to be chatty. Here's the key for the theater. I'll leave it up to you. See what I can do. I had another question. Certainly. Tell me about yourself. In your lifetime, unwittingly or not, you have seen an Isaac Abrams production. As the financier of 30% of American film's top 100 movies, you must have. Being the Baron of Hollywood, I can do any project I want. <laughs> Did you produce Ape Race 2 or Ghost Brother? Uh, who's your favorite person you worked with? Stewart, Lean, Hitchcock, Wilder, Holden... Dean, Scorsese, De Niro, and last but not least, Ash, my child. I remember some studio suit lost in time telling me the only thing they could use Bogart for was to move furniture. Wow. Ash? Ash. Where do I begin? Seven years ago, I saw a casting session for what would become Negative Zero. The moment I set eyes on him, the passion of his performance... I knew he had it. Go on. I hadn't seen anything like him since Clift or Dean. He had the looks, the charisma, the lure, that undefinable quality that makes a film legend. My first movie with him made him a sensation, and it also changed him. How? Once everyone knew who he was, I no longer did. The parties, the drinking, the sports cars, the women. One night when I came to discuss his next role... I found him nearly dead of an overdose, and I couldn't... I couldn't let him go. You made him your child to save him. I acted on impulse. I had seen so many others die before their time, but with Ash, I had a chance to prevent that fate. So what happened? It devastated Ash. 
He still wanted to act, but I denied him his place in the limelight. He had to lie to his friends about his new lifestyle. He had to feed. I gave him a club, a scrap of his former glory. I did everything I could to facilitate the change. Does he hate you? He feels obligated to me. I don't think he hates me. Resents me, maybe. I am his sire, and he is my child, and there is a responsibility and respect inherent in that bond, even if we are no longer the friends we were. Where can I find him? He spends nearly all of his nights in his club, the Asp Hole. I am, I admit it, too old-fashioned to appreciate it. To me, it's the compressed essence of everything that's wrong with the film industry today. Maybe I'll head over there sometime. Certainly. Uh, what can you tell me about the Nosferatu? The Nosferatu? I pity them, but I loathe their presence. I deal with them when it's necessary. I know they're beneath my city somewhere, but only they know where. They respect my streets, and I keep my politics out of their sewers. But I don't trust them by any stretch of the word. Okay, and another question. Certainly. Velvet. You've met VV, have you? Of all the kindred I know, she seems the most alive. She's still young, though, but nonetheless adept. She's not my child, but she's become like a daughter to me. All right. Later, Isaac. So, what do we have to do? Oh, right. Let's take care of this gargoyle across the street first. Whatever. Whatever. Might, might want to do a quick save. Oh, Mr. Gargoyle, sir. Thing. Person. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not here to fight you. I just want to talk. Talk? No. Always kindred are talking, scheming, hurting others with their lies. Monsters, you all. Abominations. A curse upon the earth. <laughs> Wait, I come in peace. I have an offer from Isaac Abrams. <laughs> offer? What offer? Yet another lie. He hopes to control me, to enslave me, just as my master before him. First he sends his underlings to destroy me, and now he wants to make peace. No! Curse him! Curse you all! He doesn't want to enslave you, he just wants you to work for him. No! There will be no more talk. No, please, there has to be another way. Okay, whoa. Let me try one more time. Let me try one more time, because, again, I, I much prefer dialogue options as opposed to fighting in general. Uh, hello? I can't move. Weird. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. I just want to talk. Talk? No. Um. 
Okay, I'm not here to fight. We can work this out peacefully. No. Please arrest me another way. I guess we have no choice. Jesus. I didn't want to kill him. Okay. Ooh. A film canister. Tap Hotel, Shuffle Step. Oh. Something for Gary, I guess. Those are bathrooms, and these are nothing. Okay, well that was fun. I guess we'll just go back and talk to Isaac real quick. Evening. Uh, about that gift, can I have it now? Here. And thanks again oh. for your help earlier. And remember what I told you about LaCroix. You're good, kid. He doesn't deserve you. No, he doesn't. Thanks for the gift. Evening. Uh, I've killed the gargoyle. I admit, I thought you'd come back here with a stone foot lodged in your backside. But I'm glad to see you've proved otherwise. You've got a lot of promise. It's a shame you're still working full time for the wrong side. I've got nothing against the Anarchs. I'd like to hope so. Well, if you'll excuse me. Uh, better check email. Yep. So the only thing left right now is to go to the cemetery and talk to um, Amalia. <laughs> Did you see the papers? She killed herself. Can you believe it? After the story hit the tabloids, she swallowed half a bottle of Valium and washed it down with a fifth of gin. It couldn't have been more perfect. Uh, I tried to be thorough. I ended up with the cash. Here, you definitely earned it. Thanks, see ya. What is this? Tawdry session. Supermodel cotton threesome with boyfriend llama. I mean, I mean, yeah. Hey, newbie, what do you need? I ask you a few questions. Tell me about what you do. Me. Like I said, I'm I'm the resident tech head. Keep this place wired to the outside world. Gary wants me to keep it close on the street. At the same time, I'm supposed to be upgrading the sh 
the ne network. Upgrading what? Were we gonna say? <laughs> no, nothing. Forget about it. Like I said, just some network stuff. Yeah, right. I'm trying to add a few more network hubs in the city so we're covered in case of emergency. But Gary doesn't want anyone leaving until this whole thing with LaCroix blows over. Which basically leaves my freaking cheese hanging in the wind. Maybe I can help you out. Yeah, yeah you, you do that. Man, that would really help me out. I could hook you up along the way. Make it worth your while. I got access to all kinds of goodies. <laughs> I'm in. What do you need? Uh, I, I need a little time to set things up. Te technical details. I'll send an email to your haven and tell you what needs to be done. That's all you need to know for now. How'd you end up down here? Me? Before all this, I was a hacker. Good one, too. There wasn't a system I couldn't crack. Telcos, DOD, you name it. One time... <laughs> I emailed the president all the nuclear missile activation codes. <laughs> and the FBI was shitting their pants. <laughs> but one day I ran across the system. Oh, totally dark. Unbelievable security. I fried three laptops trying to bust it. I worked on it for months. Did, didn't sleep much at all. I'd almost given up. But I caught a lucky break one night. I finally broke in. Yeah, what was it? It was, uh, uh, those Faratu database. Not even a really important one, either. Which was probably the only reason I cracked it. I dug around for a while, got totally freaked out, and I unplugged. Two hours later, guess who shows up at my door? Gary. <laughs> and voila, he ran. Well, that sucks. You totally got nabbed and made into... Well, uh, sorry. Are you kidding? <laughs> I love this shit. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna win any beauty contests, but... I wasn't too good looking before anyway. Now I get all the cool new toys, plus I just happen to get to live forever. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Fair enough. Thanks for the story. Okay. Uh, I think that was it for these areas, yeah. Guess I'll make one more trip to um, to my haven before I head over to Chinatown. Let's dump some stuff in here. So give, give, uh, don't know what that's for. We'll keep that for now. So give that, give, 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 give. I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting forever. I've been kind of nervous. I can't feel you inside my veins anymore. I just need a little more, please. Master, just a few drops. Sure. Oh, thank you. Oh, 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 amazing. I feel so much better. Like I'm the most important person in the world. Next to you, of course. Uh, isn't that cute? I'll see you later. Master? Uh... Okay. Uh, on the other hand, forget it. Okay, so I'm just gonna check my email. Or not. Why can I not check my email? It 
the fuck? I <sighs> Am I really gonna have to like leave and come back? Okay, I literally cannot access my computer. I don't know why. It's uh, fine. We'll, we'll check it another time. Oh, what the fuck? Nine lives. Celebrity Ash Rivers walks away from deadly crash. Why? What is going on? I feel like I've entered the bug line departments. Which sucks. <sighs> All right. You know what? We'll save going back to Santa Monica, uh, not Santa Monica, downtown, for next time. Because, uh, yeah, the Skyline apartment looks to be bugged, and I've been warned um, by, uh, by a fellow commenter um, that it happens. And I actually knew about it, too. But uh, we, we can't have this happen. The only way to fix it is to basically close the game and reopen it, which... I'm I'm gonna sign off anyway. It's it, this video's gone on long enough. So yeah. So next time uh, we'll just quickly go to downtown to our apartments. Just check our email, give Heather some more blood, and uh, then we'll make our way to Chinatown. Thank you all so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.